What's going on y'all, it's your boy Hoops Respective. I'd like to give a special shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video today. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets, all right? They use a zero out of 10 score on each ticket to know if you're getting a good or a bad deal. Green means good, red means bad. All right, don't waste any more time today. Get your first tickets using my promo code Hoops Perspective to take $20 off your first purchase. That's promo code Hoops Perspective. Now let's get into the video. Duke's insane recruiting class consists of three potential lottery picks, Zion Williamson, RJ Barrett, and the player we're focusing on today, Cam Reddish. Each of these players have their own individual strengths that make them such highly touted players, but Cam may be the best pure scorer out of the trio. Let's take a look at what we can expect from Cam this upcoming season at Duke. The 6'8 small forward out of Pennsylvania is a poised assassin from beyond the arc. While he can be streaky, not many players can step up and knock down big time shots like Cam can. He loves rocking defenders to sleep and to pull up jump shots, and at the high school level, his size made his jumper virtually unstoppable. Now of course at the next level, this won't be the case, but you know, that's okay. Cam has shown that he's very comfortable knocking down shots off ball screens and in catch and shoot situations. His growth as a playmaker is something to take note of as well. You can tell he's learning how to read the floor to help set up teammates. And while this can be a problem for most score first players, Cam demonstrates a lot of promise as a facilitator. And especially now he's gonna be sharing the ball with a lot of other talented players. He pretty much has no choice but to learn how to share the ball. Cam makes up for his lack of quickness off the dribble with the brute strength which he uses to finish at the rim or get to the free throw line. So far his style of just putting his head down and pushing through the defense has worked in his favor, but it's imperative for him to add more dribble moves to his arsenal and improve his quickness to get by defenders in the ACC. He's a big time offensive player so this area of his game should be a main focal point for next year. Now as far as improvements, Cam needs to focus on his on-wall defense. He has a really bad habit of standing up on defense and reaching instead of being in a solid defensive stance, which are things Coach K will immediately nip in the bud. Also his decision making and shot selection can improve. Cam's relaxed demeanor on the court can be a gift and a curse, simply because his too cool style of play has led to a lot of lazy passes which ultimately end up as turnovers. And another thing, it wouldn't hurt for him to tighten up his handle. Some of these turnovers were from simply him losing control of the ball. As far as the shot selection, Cam does force the issue occasionally. Like I stated before, he's going to be sharing the ball with a lot of talented teammates. So he's going to have to learn when to get a bucket and when to just simply bring the ball out and set something up. Well, here's my verdict. At the end of the day, I expect Cam Reddish to do what he always does, and that's score the ball. He'll probably have some growing pains, you know, just learning how to play with such a talented cast, but thank God he has a great coach that'll make sure everyone plays as a team while also letting his players get busy individually. Expect Duke to be one of the best teams in the ACC next year. And don't be surprised if Cam is the top scorer on the team when it's all said and done. 